makes my heart come alive. Suddenly brought to life when I met you. One, two, three, jump! And welcome back to the Church Kids Show Christmas Edition! It is officially December, which means it's time for my favorite December activity. Um, let's see. My guess is that it's eating probably some sort of food. Well, close. My favorite part of the Church Kids Show Christmas season is making gingerbread houses! Yes! Alright, so here we go! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's at least say our faith declaration first before we start. Oh, yes, that's important. Our faith declaration this month is God has a plan. Sometimes life is hard and confusing, but it's important to know that God always has a plan. Indeed. Hey, Tracy. Yes? Can we, uh, get to ginger gingerbread making houses? What? Gingerbread what? houses making? What? What? Make gingerbread houses. <laughs> uh, yes, Charles, let's do it. But? Who decided to call it gingerbread? That's hard to say that fast. Gingerbread. But? Gingerbread. <laughs> but? There is a twist! Wow, so far now! A twi- wait, why is it a twist? It was my idea to gingerbread ah! houses. What's, twi what's twisty about this? Ah, hold on! What a twist. We get to eat candy while doing it. When I say this chair is very high... Okay! Crap, crap, crap. Almost there! Almost there! That's a lot of candy. Tracy, you really ah. need, to re you need to rethink the nutrition in your breakfast. Okay! Oh, this is for our game. Woo! Got it. The twist is we're blindfolded. What a twist! It's the crumbly most cookies. Wonderful time this of might the get year. messy with all the sugar. I'm gonna take my jacket off. Okay. Uh, yeah. If I can. The Christmas jacket's all sticky. Okay. So how long do we have to make this thing? <laughs> how are you surviving? Oh look, something I love. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, it's already breaking! Why are these the worst to open? This is almost more terrifying than opening a Nature Valley uh, granola bar. You never know if it's just gonna explode in your face. <laughs> Things. Okay! Oh my gosh, what is happening? Oh, 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 I'm just looking at them and they're falling apart! Three, two, one, go! Begin! How are you starting? What do you mean? I'm starting by building my house. No, I'm asking, like, are you starting with your frosting or... Probably. I'm just gonna kind of... Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna kind of go ham on this boy. Because... Like just mix it up, guys. Firm foundation. Well, right First. now, it's a sugary foundation, and then it's gonna be a firm one when it, when it dries up and hardens. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you doing a one by one? I don't like know. One by one. Da 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 da. Are you a graham cracker? No, I'm not. <laughs> Tracy, we've known each other for such a long time. I'm not a graham cracker. Are you sure about that? What? No! I don't remember you falling down. I don't know how to put the roof on. Oh, it scared me. I don't even know what that was. So much frosting on my hands. I, I do too. Okay, my house is not built on a firm foundation. Well, mine is, <coughs> Tracy. Mine is. Okay. Oh! I have nothing on my house. Hold on, there. I got, I got some. Where's my? I have humans in my house. Look at them. They're at their place of um, residence. Move. 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 What? What are you doing? Hey! I feel like. <laughs> yes. Wow, yours is really good. Okay, well mine turned out to be like a pirate ship house. A pirate? How house? is a pirate ship? Like the, like the sail of boat. Mine is this. It's 
pretty good, actually. Mine's got people. Does yours have people in it? Mm -mm. Didn't think so. Oh! Who do you think won, church kids? Which one? Hold up. It is not a pirate ship. <laughs> okay, well, Charles, sounds good. But while you're cleaning up and while I eat this, let's go check out our game for today. Did you wash your fingies? Mm-mm. What's up, church kids? And it is game time, and the game we're about to play is called Beanbag Head. So, I need two contestants to come up, and what they're gonna do is they're gonna have a beanbag. They're gonna stick it on their head. Now, there are two buckets on the ground. You have to start from one bucket, and you have to make your way to the other bucket. Only using your head, you have to drop this beanbag in the bucket. If you drop it, you have to start all over. You can waddle, walk, sprint, fast walk, whatever you need to do to get this bean bag to those buckets. The first person to get five bean bags in their bucket wins the game. The game begins in three, two, one. Here we go. Jeremiah. 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 2911. Woo! I know the plans I have for you. Be clear alone. Sing it again. Come on. Jeremiah. 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 2911. Woo! It's time to see them, we're giving it up, forgot to breathe them Prosperity isn't his plan for you to bring out on heaven's dance floor I'm believing God for good things in my future Wisdom, love, and growth every day with something newer So throw it out, the thought that says bad things about you Yeah, it's a lie that Truth be told, the plan for you is a good one Hand pick plan from the man, the real son Read the word, know it's your weapon Take a stand, know your plans from heaven Say again the verse in this lesson Jeremiah 29 11 Oh, Jeremiah 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 2911 I know the plans I have for you be clear alone Sing it again come on Jeremiah 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 2911 I know the plans I have for you be clear alone Plans to what plans to prosper not to harm you Not to harm you, but Plans to give you hope And a future We out
right, church kids, it's time to jump into today's lesson. Okay, Tracy, do you know what time it is? Um, I just said it, it's time to, to get into our, our lesson. We're going to continue learning about the true Christmas yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, but first, I have to keep reading my story, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I remember what happened last time. <sighs> Honestly, I can't remember where we left off last week in your, your Well, <laughs> I decided to write my own version of the Christmas story and I started to read it to you. Here's what happened. Three wise men, actually two wise men and one wise woman, named Stephen, Ronald, and Carly, and one tired caramel named Frank, were on a journey following the star, but they got lost. They were fighting and arguing and blaming each other, and then they met us. Charles and Tracy, and we told them about Jeremiah 29 11, which says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. The wise men realized that God had a plan for them and they just needed to trust him and keep following the star. And just when they left, Charles and Tracy heard a knock and the sound of a sheep at the door. Right. So are we going to find out who was at the door? Yep. Um... Are we going to find out, like, today, or...? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, where, where did I... Oh, let's see where it was in here. Just a second. Okay. Ow. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, let's see. Aha! So Charles and Tracy began wrapping presents again, and suddenly they heard a loud knock at the door. knock at our door? Did I just hear a sheep? Oh. Yo, hey guys, what's up? My name's Tim. It's my brother Hank. We're shepherds. We're the shepherds. Yeah. I was wondering if uh, we could come in and uh, warm up because it's kind of freezing outside. It's true. Man, everyone's just showing up tonight. Yeah, and did I miss some sort of memo that I should be wearing like robes? Because it seems that everyone's kind of doing that right now. Come on in warm up, I guess, since you're already here. Well, where are you guys headed on such a cold night? Well, I mean, it's kind of a long story. You see, it all started when we were sitting out in the field watching over our sheep. Mm. Then, well, actually, it started three weeks before uh, that when our dad decided that it was time for us to stop goofing around and um, actually start working. But the problem is, I didn't want to be a shepherd. Our family has been doing this for generations, seriously. Our great, 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 great grandparents started the farm we work at. Yup, anyways, now it's our turn to take over the family business, but let me tell you, sitting out there in the field all day long, staring at sheep is super boring. Yep. So anyway, we were just watching sheep, and then all of a sudden, a super bright light appeared. It was seriously so bright. And the angel said, hey, wake up, it's me, the angel of the Lord. Dude, and we totally freaked out and we were like, ah, what is going on? Where is this bright light in my eyes? Who is that strange person? And then the angel said, whoa, 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 calm down, I've got a message for you. Today, this guy Jesus was born and I need you to go see him. And then all of a sudden, a bunch of other angels showed up and they started singing. And then they were just gone. And then we kind of just sat there for a minute. So, we decided to listen to the angels and start our journey to find this guy, Jesus. But, I'm not sure uh, where even we were going. Yep, we've been wandering around forever. And it seems like we are never going to get there. Honestly, this isn't how I expected to be spending my weekend. This isn't really how I was expecting to spend my life. Whoa. This just got, like, surprisingly deep. Dude, I'm just saying. I didn't think I was gonna be a shepherd, and now I'm a shepherd who's following the advice of some random glowing guy that shows up, just wandering around on a super long journey to meet some other random guy named Jesus. Yeah, and I'm tired. My feet are tired, my hands are tired, oh, my face okay. is well, tired. Funny enough, we were just talking to some people about how God has a plan for our life. Yep. But sometimes that plan is not our plan. Yeah, for instance. So one time before I had a car, I wanted to visit my friend, but they lived really far away. So my plan was to use city transportation. I took three trains, two buses to get to them, and I did, and it was great. But 
When it was time to go home, I tried it. Turned out my bus card was now empty so the bus driver wouldn't let me on the bus and then I didn't have enough money to, to put on my card so I ran one mile to a bank that closed moments before I got there but then I saw a police officer driving around and I asked him if he could give me a ride. At first he said no and then I asked again and then he said yes and I said thank you and he took me to the nearest train station but my credit card wasn't working to buy me a ticket so then I ran around for 30 minutes asking people for change to help me buy my train ticket and then I got the money to make it home but all together took me around five hours to make it 20 miles home which was not part of my plan. I mean, that wasn't the best example, but you get the point. Jeremiah 29:11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. God has a plan, but sometimes, if not a lot of times, the plan God has for our lives isn't at all what we thought it would be. That's right. There might be some moments where you are unsure, feel disqualified, or have questions but your best life is found in God's plan. Maybe you didn't think you would be a shepherd, and maybe you didn't think that an angel would come to you and tell you to go find Jesus, but it was part of God's plan, and it will be worth it in the end. Man, I am feeling totally rejuvenated right now. Yeah, I don't know what rejuvenated means, but me too. Hey, thanks for reminding us that God has a plan for our lives. Yeah. We're gonna head out and go try to find this Jesus guy. Yeah. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Uh, you know what, Charles? What? Everybody seems to be headed to see this Jesus guy. Do you think we should go too? Hmm, I mean, I guess so. Even though it's really cold out there. Come on, Charles. Where's your adventuresome spirit? Let's go. And that's all I have for us today. So you're going to have to hear the rest next week. Charles, that story was actually really good. Oh, thank I you. loved how you talked about God having a plan, but sometimes that plan is not our plan. Should we watch the true story now of the shepherds? Sure. The story of Christmas, Jesus and the shepherds. This is Jesus. Booyah! Jesus is the son of God who would grow up to do amazing things. <laughs> His parents on earth were Mary Hi. and Joseph. Hello. Jesus was born in a barn because there was no room for him anywhere else in Bethlehem. On the night Jesus was born, there were some shepherds in the field keeping watch over their sheep. <sighs> Suddenly, an angel appeared before them. Uh oh and a bright light shone all around them. Ah! The shepherds were so scared, but the angel said, don't be afraid. Uh, okay. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Whoa, what? The angel told the shepherds that they would find Jesus in a barn wrapped in strips of cloth, laying in a manger. Okay. Then the angel was joined by many, many other angels, and all of them sang, Glory to God in highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. Then the angels returned to heaven. Uh, what just happened? And the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Yeah. So they hurried to the village. You say that. And found the baby Jesus laying in the manger. Wow! <laughs> After seeing Jesus, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had told them about the baby Jesus. Everyone who heard the shepherd's story were amazed. Mary made sure she remembered all these things and thought about them often. Huh. Then the shepherds went back to their sheep and praised God for all they had seen. The baby was exactly who the angel had told them he was, the savior of the world, the son of God. Well, that's pretty great. I'm just saying my story was, uh, I don't know, you know, pretty close to that, I think. I mean, kind of. It's amazing how God had such a big plan for those shepherds. I bet that was the last thing that they were expecting. Sure. Our memory verse this month is Jeremiah 29:11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Mm -hmm. Plans to give you a future and a hope. 
Even when life is hard, God has a plan for you. Even when life feels uncertain, God has a plan. God's plan is not always the same as our plan, but his plan is the best plan. Man, that was kind of hard to say. Sure was. Yeah. And also kind of hard to keep this thing on my head. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> nope, made it worse. I ah! have laser antler eyes. <sighs> yes. <sighs> well, we will see you all next week for some more Christmas fun. But until then, don't forget, it's a great day. To, to be a church, church kid! kid! Yeah! 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 yeah!